Hello and either good evening or good afternoon. This is Globita. We're back again on G Thoughts YouTube channel. If you guys could, I am trying to bring some good content for easy cooking, living, perfume reviews, and also hair. But today, what we're gonna do on G Thoughts, and I am Globita, your host, we're gonna do Salta Verde. This is something that I've been eating all summer and I love it, and I've been making it fresh. And I wanted to share your tip well really my tip that I found and educated myself on to make your own verde. So let's get started shall we? So what we have here is two poplamo peppers, an anaheim pepper. I'm going to use two jalapenos. I'm going to use about seven cloves of garlic and then with these beautiful things right here are tomatitos. So Tomatitos looks like a tomato, but it is not a tomato. It's actually part of a berry family. Okay, we're gonna use a medium onion. And then you have your choice when you go to season it. Either you're gonna use your Nors chicken bouillon, or you can use kosher salt to season. And then what you're gonna do is that you're gonna have um, a half a cup or a cup of water to thin out your salsa verde. So what I'm going to do here, I have my oven preset it at 400 degrees. We're going to roast these. And you do have the option of boiling your peppers um, for like five minutes, um, boiling them in a pot, and that will suffice as well. But I hear and what I've been looking at and educate myself on um, doing the verde sauce. And what I'm doing right now is peeling the onion so I can put it in the oven to roast. Um, <clears throat> is that roasting it brings out the natural flavors and the peppers and the onions when you go to blend them or put them in your food processor. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to peel this off. This is going to be a very quick and easy video. You can eat this with chips. You can eat this with um, your tacos, your burritos, and you even can do baked chicken in it. I mean, I've seen so many people use verde so many different ways. I'm not gonna get this perfect. So I have a half sheet cookie tray here. And what we're going to do is put this in the oven for 400 degrees. Okay. And we're going to roast these for about five to 10 minutes. You probably wanna check your oven to see how your oven varies. So I'm gonna say five to 10 minutes to get a nice charcoal roast on these peppers and these onions and these tomatitos. And then what we're gonna do is put them in a food processor or you can use a blender to start the mixing content when it's time to make the verde. And then when that happens, we're gonna put you on pause or on hold and we'll be back once we go to blending process. But in the oven we go at 400 degrees for five to 10 minutes. And then we'll show you what it looks like when it has a little char grilled on them, okay? Welcome back everyone. We have roasted our jalapenos, our tomatillos, our pablamos, our, our garlic, our half of um, a small white onion, and our um, hamanine peppers. Now, I put the oven on 400 degrees Fahrenheit um, and it didn't get ready in the 10 to 15 minutes that I suggested. In my oven at 400 degrees it took about 25 minutes so if you wanted to roast a little bit faster I would suggest to put it to 415 to 420 Fahrenheit to get it at the temperature to roast at the 10 to 15 minute mark because it took mine about 30 minutes at 400 degrees to roast the tomatillos the bell pepper I mean sorry the poblamo peppers the amanheim and my garlic and my jalapenos so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna pan down and we're gonna show you what I just did because I pre-stepped this process for you but I'm gonna show you what I did after it set for 10 minutes um, to cool down for me to peel off the roasted peppers shall we okay so these are my jalapenos so when you want to do once they roast and if they're set for 10 or 15 minutes and they cool down you want to peel out your seeds okay so we're going to put that to the side, we're going to take that out, 
and I'm doing this on my jalapenos because we don't want to blend up all these seeds unless you like the heat you can keep the seeds in but I don't want the stems so we're gonna peel it out and then once you roast them they'll come right out you see how easy that was and I already did my amahine and this is my pabano pepper and what I did was just take the skin off after they roasted that's the part once you roast them you want to take that off because you don't want that skim in your verde sauce because we're making green verde sauce I'm gonna put that to the side we're gonna take this off our peppers so we're removing the seeds and we're removing the skim off your pabamo peppers your amahan peppers your garlic your tomatillos are already ready because they have this soft texture and that roast texture is what you want to see on your tomatitos and on your jalapenos and you want to take that skin off that skin off your first layer you want to take that off and any stems and seeds is what you want to take off this is a perfect example of my plabamo pepper I'm going to split it down the center and take out the seeds make sure it's clean I'm going to put that to the side we're going to take off the skin off the roasted peppers or as my Latinos and Dominicans and Mexican friends say your chilies I notice they call most peppers chilies. So I'm taking it off. I already did my onions. I already did my roasted garlic. You just want to take off that skin mark of anything that you have left over. So when you blend it, you don't get that extra skin on. And I took off all the stems. So I did two plabamo peppers. I did one amahine pepper. I did two jalapenos. I did five cloves of garlic. I did two, four, six, seven tomatillos and one small onion. So what we're about to do is we're about to put it in our blender. So I have a spatula here. And what you see here is just I roasted on parchment paper. So I'm gonna go to my blender. And we're gonna scrape all our ingredients in our blender or food processor. So I figured everybody has a blender. Everybody may not have a food processor, and that's fine. I'm sorry if this is blocking your view, but all I'm doing is adding all my onions, my bell peppers, and my tomatillos, my hummus, into the blender. Now that it's done, I'm gonna clean up my mess. This is just an easy, quick thing that I found that was so invigorating. One time, my best friend Milana and my mother was over with the children, and I had made this, and they were ecstatic about the flavors of my homemade salsa. And I'll go in the refrigerator and show you what one looks like already pre-done. But because I'm going to do burritos, or I'm going to do enchiladas later, I said I'll make another. So what I'm going to do is my preference to flavor my verde, I'm going to put a half a cup of water in here so we can mix that to blend. I'm going to do a tablespoon of chicken, a Norse chicken bouillon. Okay, I already have my mason jar here ready, so once we blend that, ready to go and you can also use kosher salt you can use a teaspoon but I'm going to use a tablespoon because I think it will give it most flavor I'm going to put my lid on these lids y'all they give me problems me and mechanical things no. They give me issues, okay? 
your everyday working parent. I'm no chef. I'm no shoe chef. I am no cook. I'm just an everyday woman with children cooking for her family. So we have issues. But I love I love gadgets. Okay. So I'm gonna turn on my ninja food processor, and this is not sponsored, but I would like to be. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pulse this. Oh my god, y'all. This smells so good. I think I want to add some more liquid in here. So give me one second, one moment, Joel. So I'm adding about one third of a cup more of water. since the middle of March, I found that these things were so easy to do, but it's just having the time and the patience with yourself to tell yourself, I can do this. What I thought that would take forever took me less than no more than 20 minutes, sometimes less than that, to create your own sauce ready when you need to. And you know, you got your fresh birthday sauce and you can save yourself five or six dollars because the ingredients doesn't even cost that much. And you're making it fresh, you know when it's made, you can seal it, put it in your mason jars, and you're ready to go. So this is the one that I made previously, back in June, and I was so shocked at the results, and my mother, my kids, and my best friend were just ecstatic. Like, this tastes better, and I let them open, I opened up a can of jar of verde sauce that I buy from the store that was my favorite brand, and it was like, Lobita, yours tastes better. So, therefore, try it at home. I'm just giving you new techniques give you things maybe that you can't find in the grocery store because COVID-19 and just a new way of living has always been a way of trying to find other difficult things to make fresh ingredients. This has been my treat to you of what I've learned. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. You could be anywhere in the world watching anything that you wanted to do. You came with me and my family to see what we were cooking. I thank you. Please hit that subscribe button and that like if you like this content as a video, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.